This is uh, Spring 2023, the first report of the top 25 guilds and their total experience earned in the last seven days um, for the seasonal guild leaderboard within in simple MMO. Um, this is of course presented by Yomu, and I'm already I, we already know who number one is, but this is again per, provided and presented by Yomu. Um, awesome stuff, thank you Yomu. So let's let's just get into the celestial tier, and it's 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 what you would kind of expect, but there, there's some craziness going on here. So number one, we have we have Beyblade, Babel, Bamboozle, okay, with a total of 30 mil EXP earned in the last seven days. Now there is some time lag. Yomu was saying like eight hours or so, so it's actually like six days and whatever hours, but. This is close enough, okay? So we have Beyblade here up top. We have the Forest holding number two with 28 mil, almost 29. We have Wolfblood at number three, which is insane. So if you're a wolf, you know, you're Wolfblood here, Dagon, I, mean, I need some woofs, you know what I mean? Because that is, that's awesome. Uh, so Wolfblood holding three, and you wouldn't expect it. But you have Rain Factory. Mother freaking Rain Factory as number four in Celestial with over 9 mil exp now that's a lot of exp don't throw that out the window but i mean just look at the disparity from the top three guilds here in the 20s 30s and then it just drops to to nine <laughs> so rain factory has pounded through the first week uh bumping two positions overall within the seven days to get number four and then we still have golden arrows holding on for dear life in the top five spot throw your bows up but the exp difference is huge we have nine mil and we have you know 6.6 .6 mil um so golden arrows cannot be slacking if rain i mean look at the work rain factory is putting in and they king cows they rumored this not rumored but they they shared information during the oh. off season here uh that they were getting new members that they were having friends help them out to gain quick exp and it looks like it showed. Uh, but before moving on, King Cows, do you have any any comments about the top five here? Let me see if I can just kind of like, there we go. I mean, this is all mostly to be expected, apart from Rain Factory. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not, nothing too hot and exciting here. Uh, yeah. I love throwing my arrows in the air. Do, do a little Rain Factory emote now, but... Yeah. Yeah, nothing, uh, nothing crazy here. No TPC, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this whole thing is just bullshit. That's TPC. <laughs> uh, chat says Wolf going strong. RF has been grinding. Pro RF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to see that. And then I'm a GA homie. Oh, Joshua's here. Shout out to Joshua. Uh, that's good. It's good. We love to see the love for these guilds. Now, let's move on to the next tier, which is legendary. And we have Heaven and Hell. So, hold on. I, it's like you can't use your mouse wheel you have to like there we go so number six we have heaven and hell they dropped two positions overall within the seventh week so they were in celestial tier at one point uh, and they they fell just behind golden arrows so that's pretty close so that's those are two close positions that we have to keep our eyes on we have the knights who say you at number seven who've been pretty much holding the seven spot down throughout the seven days we have prostor number eight Moving up a position overall with four mil, that's that's awesome to see them in legendary. Okay, Prostor wasn't even projected to be in legendary, and here they are starting off strong. Um, and it's just amazing to me that Heaven and Hell and Yi are still like in this space because last season, uh, King House, they were pretty much like, I don't know, Heaven and Hell didn't drop that dramatically, but neither did Yi. They were just boring. They didn't move. They're just like there. <laughs> so and they're still here in the legendary tier, just kind of hanging out. Um and then below Prosor for number nine, we have Gorilla Wizards, who um, you know, they won. I mean, we have a bunch of winners from last season placing already. Uh, but they they fell below Prosor. So Prosor was able to to overtake and then still friendly at number 10. Um, but look at this EXP difference here. So the top for legendary 6.5 and we saw golden arrows up here with 6.6 .6 for number five the the gap into celestial tier for the bottom the fifth and fourth spot 
um, isn't as like <laughs> vast as we saw last season. Again, this is just the first seven days. Uh, but even I think last season, like by week three, things were like exploding in difference. So leg like this legendary position, uh, we can see, a, I, I predict we'll have a lot more movement um, in, the, in the next week because the EXP here difference is is minimal. Um, so it'll be, it'll be interesting. King Cows, is there any, any observations, any sage advice or just things you want to say? I'm impressed you finally learned how to pronounce... What is it? Pro Proctorp? Prostor? Prostor. Huh. What I, I still hope. Eight? I still hope it's said that way. <laughs> yeah. They're going to climb. They're going to get into Celestial, I reckon. You do. You, you, you believe that? They're going for it. Yep. Yeah. I mean, they've come so far in the last month. Uh, yeah. They're working hard. They're getting every, I assume, every other Russian player in the game. Yeah, they're pit, they're them up. they're recruiting them all. They have they have competition. Solid Step is a it's another Russian guild. They're not solely oh, Russian based, but they have Russian like the Kohli or the founders are Russian, um, right. and they recruit for both uh, oh, for yeah. English and Russian. But yeah, I you know what with RF touching Celestial like actually being in Celestial, uh, I don't know what to expect. But Prostor is one of the ones that. If they don't lose their drive, I think they can climb to at least top of legendary. We'll we'll see where we go from there. Uh, chat saying H and H, we are boring and we like it now, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, if boring nets you legendary, I, I mean, I guess take it, right? Baff says H and H lost some members, didn't they? Um, now he says I know Dark left. Yeah, Dark's been gone for a while, and God took a break. I don't know who that is. All right, moving on to the next here, which is Epic. And the five guilds in this position, we have... Hold on, let me... There we go again. We have Murder of the Universe for number 11 with 3 mil. Again, the EXP here... I mean, it's the first week. What do you expect? But there's there's clear paths to overtake every guild going on here. And now, the special announcement. The one King House is waiting for. The one he has not seen yet. He's number two. He's number two in the epic. Exactly where at, we were last season. At 1.9 mil, exactly where he was. <laughs> and <sighs> honestly, for a PV, uh, PVE guild, this isn't bad. Isn't bad. But Murder of the Universe will definitely gain more EXP than you if you don't get moving. <laughs> 100%, yeah. Uh. But if they bump up, you will contend with still friendly, which didn't show life until like the very end of the season. I'm more um, than happy with the top of Epic, to be honest. So it's a good place to be. Yeah. Uh, and then right under you, it's not the Titans this time. It's the Crimson Offensive uh, mm -hmm. TCO with 1.5 and oh, almost 1.6. They climbed seven positions overall in the last seven days. They are they are juicing right now. They are Shaking. just they are lifting heavy, and I wonder. Because we saw this with Midnight Rain, I wonder if uh, TCO will actually continue to push, or if this is like you blow your load and you're done. Uh, I know King Cows knows all about that. So number fourteen here, we have the <laughs> demonetized. <laughs> we have the Titans here with one point four mil. They dropped a position, so TCO overtook mm. their position. So they were behind TPC for a while, um, and that's a shame. That's the rivalry going on for this season for sure. And then we have a new contender on the block who has a really cool uh, icon and a name, Radiant Dawn. So Radiant Dawn has hit the streets, Big Dawn, you know what I mean? And they have 1.3 mil and they climbed over 26 positions. And they're PVE. They're PVE. So I'm scared. <laughs> Holy shit. Who is in chat? Does anyone know who is in Radiant Dawn? Their guild is half full. They have two warriors and they've climbed this many places. Now uh, he says, is Radiant Dawn the R-E-D logo guys? Who are these people? Are they in global? Radiant Dawn is goaded, says Tim. All right. that's Thank you for the intel. That's really helping us. Tio says, Radiant Dawn is a nice name. Not as good as Rain Factory, though. Shout out to Tio, another YouTube mod. 
Uh, <laughs> thanks for the input, Tio. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I, they have a cool name. I fell in love with Brain Factory because of their cool name, so now, you know, now they have a contender. Interesting stuff. King Cows, looking at the EXP, you're, you're almost at 2 mil. Are you going to, are you going to break 2 mil? Like, what's your, what's your activity level right now? Oof. It's gone a lot better over the last couple of weeks. Uh, we, we died down a lot after Easter. Yeah. Now, what is going on back here? It's crazy Fi. He's, oh, he's trying to... Crazy like, Fi. He's causing chaos. He's trying, to, he's trying to kiss you on your ear. He's trying to escape ear. the jail and he needs to stop. Calm down. You won't get any more water otherwise, okay? Oh, <laughs> right. uh, yeah. We're absolutely breaking two mil. Easy peasy. Without a doubt. We just, okay. need, just need it's, more money. Go on. It's, it's like you... It's like I want to believe you. But then he you say it like me. that. You will. You'll you'll give me money so we can do more raids in TPC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I made a joke about uh to Alec about Elysium. And if they don't show up like if they don't show up on the boards, then I'm just gonna be like, What's wrong with you? But then he Alec asked me been, Alec has been playing loads. Yeah, but then he asked me for twenty dollars a week to support his efforts. So I don't <laughs> my faith in, in these guilds are it's pretty it's pretty shook. And yes, Keeban wanted to point out, shout out to Keeban that Radiant Dawn's EXP is elite. Thank you. Thank you, Keeban. You've dated ourselves. Uh, Baff says, Radiant doesn't really have very well-known players, mostly newcomers who are grinding hard. That's freaking good to see. Let's keep our eye on Radiant Dawn then. All right, let's move over to elite. This is uh, pretty much what I expected. Um, but uh, we have a new name on here as well. So in elite... In number 16, we have Dusk, another cool name contender. It's always cool to name your, your guild or your character after a time of day or like the position of the sun. Uh, so we have Dusk here for 1.3 mil, not much different than the Titans, okay? So very interesting. In number 17, we have Friendly 2 at 1.2 mil. They actually, Friendly 2 climbed four positions overall. Good to see you there. 18, we have Deadly Cute at 1.2. They fell down two positions. And then number 19, we have Solid Step, who is actively recruiting, by the way. If you haven't noticed, I already launched or I made live a blog post today uh, for Solid Step. Go over to couchcatpod.com, go to the guild advertisements, you'll see it there. And they fell two positions. Maybe not a good look if you're recruiting, but they want to be higher, okay? They want to they wanna crush the competition. And for number 20, we have Friendly. We have all these Friendly guilds in this leaderboard. Friendly fell the hardest. Friendly fell five positions overall. They pretty much bottom out of, uh, of Epic. So, yeah. And the EXP, it, not much difference down here. 1.2, almost across the board. Well, not across the board, but in the 1.2 range. So that's, I mean, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this this is going to be this is going to be the revolving door uh for sure yeah and tpc i hope you don't fall into it <laughs> uh, a lot of new guilds coming around uh i mean at least if you get to the top of this tier we'll get an award uh not anymore <laughs> yeah no. my you know things change but uh Let's see. Um, Frizen's here. Radiant Dawn got a cluster of of XRF guild, I think. Oh, you know, I heard that. I heard that on the block that Rune Factory was so active, they wanted some players wanted to create their own guild. So, are you telling me Radiant Dawn split from Rain Factory? That would that would kind of explain like their juiced approach to the leaderboards. Uh, Nari says Radiant looks like they've got shoutouts and stuff for top steppers. So that's probably a good motivation tactic. True. True. Uh, Baff says, nah, next next month that spot will be ours. <laughs> Baff, what guild are you from? Friendly 2 is back though. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. All right. Let's move on to the final. Uh, is this the final? Day? Yep, it yes, be. it is. Okay. I was like, man, it's been a while. All right. The final tier, we have rare here in the bottom five 
guilds within the top 25 that we're tracking for the season. And we have Ornic Greenhouse, which is the PvP version of Ornic Garden, which is hilarious because now we have we have two Ornits, okay? We have two OGs in the leaderboard. Bloat. We have Bloat here. Uh, Ornic Greenhouse at number 21 with one mil, dropping three spots overall. At number 22, we have Cheese Colt still holding on for dear life at not, not even a mil EXP has dropped three spots three spots overall we have fairy tale still like breaching their way back into the top 25 spot uh they climbed five positions overall and they're at 789k uh exp and then right below them i never thought i would see them again chat we have markimon markimon it has to be that right i don't want to ever see them again okay well they're back at number 24 they climbed three spots overall they just broke into the top 25 again we've seen them around and they don't last long they're usually gone within a week but very interesting here and then number number 25 we have ornit garden at 500k ish exp dropping two spots overall 